Hello and welcome to the channel. This is a continuation from my Group 4 Championship video which I have just uploaded. And uh, this is round 2 of that race. So what this is, is a reverse grid based on qualifying. So I got pole in qualifying. Therefore I start at the back in this race. However, I was the fastest car. I had been the fastest car throughout the... Uh, the entire qualifying and the first race, so I had hoped that we could somehow pl plow through the field and still get some good results, so let's see how that goes out and uh, enjoy the video. As you can see, very good reactions from me and my car is four wheel drive so I got a very good start and jumped three or four cars just off the line. I'm just going to pause it here. Because this is an incident which caused a little bit of a warning for me. Because Energy Mitch, the person who hosts the events, is here. I am on the inside. And there was a little bit of contact. But I'll show you it from my point of view. You'll see it is a very small amount of contact. You see? You see that? It's it's quite hard to even notice it. But in his car, it sent him absolutely flying off, off the racing line. And I nearly got in trouble for that, but I showed him my video evidence of me barely touching him. And uh, he decided to let me off. Let's see it once again, but let's see it from his point of view. See? Don't know what happened there. But anyway, rewind it one more time and uh, yeah, I'll leave you to enjoy it. As you saw there, I got a very good run out of that corner, but uh, Cassidy was avoiding Jordan Boy, who had a little incident with the wall, and uh, knocked into me, and that just killed my momentum, momentum, so I didn't have a great run down the street, but still managed to get the overtake on Cassidy. There, I was trying to go around the outside of Apex, but he squeezed me a little bit because he went a bit wide, which compromised both our runs onto the straight, and both nearly got overtaken by Cassidy. I, I did get overtaken by Cassidy, but managed to get back here because he went wide, so...
And now here is a move in which a driver did get penalised. And the driver who got penalised was Jordan Boy in the Corvette. So I'm going to let you guys watch this and feel free to comment below on whether you think he deserved this penalty or not. As you can see, Sparky behind got a very good run. And yeah, I didn't see anything that Jordan did wrong there really. But if we watch it from uh, Sparky's point of view, see he gets, he breaks. I, I would say that Sparky breaks a little bit too late. On my point of view, my screen, he definitely runs into the back of Jordan and then runs into Cassidy. However, the stewards decided that this was Jordan's fault, which I don't get that, to be honest with you. That caused Cassidy to run wide and yeah. But as I said, feel free to comment below. But in my eyes, there is no way in which that was Jordan Boy's fault. the driver that we were battling for the lead with in the first race he obviously started second to last because he had a good qualifying as well but uh, yeah he's struggling to get through the field a little bit doesn't quite have the acceleration that my Nissan had so he's struggling to get through the field a little bit on the back of Toko Oakley in the Genesis Group 4. He got a really good run out of that first turn, but I managed to stay right with him. And then I go for a little bit of a move up the inside here, I believe. Yep, and he, he leaves me plenty of space to refer to him, but yeah, we got the position. I think he left too much space or didn't defend enough, but yeah. He let us into the lead and we pretty much just drove away from there. see I'm beginning to pull a gap to Toko Oakley now and as he starts battling with cars behind we only pull further away so yeah
As you see here, we have two cars going side by side. The HTRU got on the outside. Didn't quite manage to pull the move off. However, uh, unlucky for Sparky here as he ran a little wide onto the grass and just ran into the wall. So very unfortunate for Sparky there. Cost him, I think, three positions at the end. Yep, three positions. So very unlucky for Sparky there. But, yeah. It was, a, it was close racing up until that point. So unlucky, Sparky.
This was also unlucky for Sparky. A bit of a laggy incident there, put him into the wall, but Apex let him back through, gave him the position back, so good sportsmanship from Apex there. Now, so the last lap of the race, you can see I'm still in the lead. Uh, yeah, I just didn't really make any mistakes in this race, unlike the first one where I had that spin. So it was a pretty solid performance for me. Uh, we got the pole position and we got the two race wins, so that was good. Uh, put me in good standings with the points considering I missed the first race. But yeah, hopefully I will upload more of these races if I can make them all, that's the problem. I may not be able to make it to a few of the races, so that's unfortunate, but uh, UAL World Endurance Championship. I will also be uploading them videos from now on because I'm driving the Jaguar Group 3 car and uh, I really enjoy them, but they're a little bit longer. I believe they're about an hour and a half, so it may be a longer video but if you guys want to watch that sort of race then you guys feel free to check that out um yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video i'll leave you now with just me driving to the end and uh yeah please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh hopefully i will see you all in the next video so take care all thanks for watching bye bye